Hi everyone, it's Jill Lancet, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Now, I've been making videos and uh, of cards and everything, but the most interest I have is my little glue stand. And I'm going to show you how I made this. Now, this particular one I bought some time ago, and it's simply... A cloth holder it's meant to stick on the wall and you pop the corner of your whatever tea towel face wash or whatever um, and it holds it but I bought them for that purpose and then one day I was like yeah this undoing of the glue lid and doing it back up again yep a bit tedious so I looked at this thing and I thought you know what I reckon I can make that into a glue stand so I bought some on one of those um, online stores I think it was Timu it's the first time I've used Timu um, and this it's called reusable um, non-adhesive well adhesive tack and it's just putty. It's the it's putty. It's the same thing that's in the end of our um, take your pick tool. You meant to put these posters up on the walls with these so that they don't damage the wall. But anyway, um, I've just poked a bit inside here. This one does not have that little receptacle inside, so we're going to see how if it works or not. But the, the blue tack really is only to stop the end of the, the glue drying out. So that's basically its use. The container actually holds it upright and stands on the desk, but the blue tack is what stops that tip of that glue um, drying out. So let's have a go. So I'm just going to poke that in there unceremoniously and it's quite, it's very pliable and quite sticky and when I've got that in there, um, I'm just going to poke the glue in there and make the hole for the glue and that's essentially, that's what it is. So it is very, very easy to make. So that is going to hold my glue. It's going to stop it from drying out. But I added some fun foam on the bottom and I'm going to show you how I did that. So you can see where the glue sits into the blue tack. I think, I don't know if you can or not, but anyway. I just got some fun foam and I just basically Went around the edge of it with a pencil or a pen. This has already got self-adhesive foam on the bottom of it. So I'm just going to cut this out. You could, of course, die cut it out if you wanted to. Um, I'm not that pedantic at this point in time. Um, but that's just fun foam. You can get that also in the $2 shops. And basically this just stops it from slipping. So it gives it a bit of... Um, and I will tidy that up once I get it on there. So it's got this self-adhesive protective paper on the bottom. Just take that off. Put your fun foam on the bottom. And then just trim around it if you need to. And that's basically how I made it. So there you go. Easy peasy. And it will stand there. You can get them in different shapes. This thing is has different configurations. Choose the one you prefer this one was just a cross but yep look works 
does what it's meant to do, I'm a happy girl. Now, the other thing I had questions on, would you believe it or not, is my little chamois holder. I cut my chamois in half. And this is a kid's snack cup. Now, this was on... They were getting rid of it. This was on sale at the supermarket. And I looked at it and I went, yeah, that's handy. So on the same website, I found these. Now, they're silicon. They've got a suction cup on the bottom. So it will stick to the desk. And it fits in there exactly as it's meant to. And because it's got, it's uh, silicon, it's going to keep that moist. And if you can suction it to your desk, you'll be able to pull that out and put it back in again. So that's just a couple of things that I have on my desk that I, I found a, a repurpose use for them. And um, yeah, so look around, think outside the box and yeah, Get yourself some of these because that I use every single day. It's very convenient. Um, it doesn't slide around on my desk because of the fun foam. And it holds my glue up the right way. So there's always glue to the tip of it. And it's that easy. And I just pop that down and I can put my glue straight back into it. And I know that the tip won't dry out because the putty is sealing that tip up six minutes nearly seven minutes and i've just shown you how quickly and easily that is to make now i, I don't sell them <laughs> in case that's your next question um but look how easy that was to make so all you need to do is look online for these tea towel holders um i'm sure you've got fun foam somewhere in the house if you haven't got any of this uh, poster putty, it's easy enough to get. So, yep, go for it. Let me know how you go if you do have a, uh, a try of that. And if there's anything else I can help you with, I've had so many inquiries about that, I felt that I had to make, um, make one for you and just show you how easy it is. So, yep, go for it, guys. And let me know in the comments if you did have a go. And um, in your country, if where you got the items from to help the other people out because I'm in Australia this is what I've used um, in our local market and I have no idea what's out there for the other countries so yeah help help you your fellow crafters out if you do find them let them know in the comments where you got them from thank you so much thank you bye